This is unmistakably the bike of Richard Carapaz of EF Education Easy Post. When I say unmistakably, as the current Olympic champion, the unwritten rule of the peloton says that he is the only rider who has allowed gold on his bike, and it is a super cool paint job. The bike underneath it is a Cannondale Super 6 Evo Lab 71 edition. Now, the Lab 71 name refers to Cannondale's top level of frame sets, the 71 being the year that Cannondale started, their pursuit of high performance, they said. Now, this is their all-round road racing bike. It was refreshed for 2023. Candel say it is faster by 12 watts over their predecessor, and they think, surprise, surprise, it's the fastest all-round bike in the peloton. Unfortunately, Carapaz didn't get to find out in this year's Tour de France because he crashed out on the very first stage. But we thought you would still want to see his bike. Now, a couple of really interesting things about this bike when they uh, when they launched it. Despite having been the ones to start press fit bottom brackets back in the day, they have now reverted to threaded bottom brackets to the celebration of everyone, particularly, I would imagine, the team mechanics as well. Now, although Candel say this bike is faster than the predecessor, it's also still super light. So it's quoted as being 770 grams for the frame. Given that Carapaz is a smaller rider, you can bet that this one is considerably less than that. The team are running predominantly Shimano Dura-Ace drivetrains. I say predominantly, Vision FSA are a big partner of the team, and as such, they've got FSA K-Force cranks on there. Carapaz uses 170 mil long cranks. They've also got that power to max power meter on there too. Now, the Dura-Ace is, as you'd expect, although interestingly, he's using an 11 to 34 cassette on here, which it's an absolute whopper, isn't it? But it's mated to 5440 chain rings up front. So 4034 is still a pretty small bottom gear, actually, you've got to say. The wheels on this bike, as you can see, clearly are from Vision as well. These are the Vision Metron 45 SLs. Now, the team will have a whole raft of different depth wheels. Well, these ones are tubeless, as you can see from that uh, muck-off tubeless valve on there. The tyres are Vittoria Corsa Pro. These are, of course, the new ones, supposedly the fastest in the Pro Peloton, and they're set up with 28 mil wide tyres. In fact, a big change for the team for 2023. Last year, the poor mechanics had to set up tubular, clincher, and tubeless tyres. Now we understand that the only setup is tubeless, with Vittoria Airliner run flat inserts. Other points to note, Vision Metron 5D bar and stem on here. This is super neat. Cable's completely integrated and then integrated straight into the bike as well. So clean. Now, it is intriguing though, given the trend for narrower and narrower handlebars, that Carapaz is still running 40 centimeter wide bars here. So that's quite wide. And given that he is a smaller rider, that is really wide, you'd think. Now, while we're up at the cockpit here, Really cool little finishing touch. So in addition to the usual shifting function of Shimano Di2, and indeed the hidden buttons on the top there that also activate shifts on Carapaz's bike, he's also got sprint shifters up there as well. So six places to change gear. Well, actually, you know, eight buttons in total, if you count them all. The extra buttons on each side shift in opposite directions from one another, which struck me as being incredibly confusing, but then I realized that it means that Carapaz can shift his rear derailleur both up and down with his left hand, which is ideal for riding one-handed while drinking and eating on the bike. So actually, a very smart move. Now, lastly up here, you can also see the team run Wahoo Elements. We've got a Wahoo Element Roam on this bike currently. And then sticking with Wahoo, we've also got Wahoo Speed Play pedals. These are the aerodynamic ones, so single-sided. The bottom is the dimple. Now, I have it on good authority from Ollie Bridgewood that that is not a marginal gain that saves up to a watt and a half apparently, which uh, is quite remarkable, really, isn't it? Um, and then lastly, we've got this uh, Pro Logo Scratch saddle as well. Before I leave you with the free hub sound check, do make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. I've got to say, 
I'll give it a big thumbs up. This is a cracking bike with a mega paint job. Another, another classic paint job coming out of Cannondale's custom paint studio. Right, I promised it. Make sure you uh, subscribe to GCN Tech if you want some more pro bikes. We've got plenty coming at you from the Tour de France 2023. Let's wind this up, shall we? Pretty good. Some serious bearings on this bike. It could be here for a while. Still going. I'm getting pretty hungry now. I think I've missed lunch. And we're done.